Hey everyone, hope that you're doing well. Welcome to our online service and we're glad that you can join in with us today. Now we're going to start in some worship. So let's come freely before the Lord, praising him and thanking him for his goodness, faithfulness, and all the things that he's done for us. Let's sing to him. just begun and failure won't define me cause that's what my father does and failure won't define me cause that's what my father does oh lay your burdens down oh here in the father's house so check your shame at the door and then they welcome the end game the journey's where you are you never wanted perfect you just wanted my heart and the story isn't over the story isn't good and failure's never final when the father's in the room and failure's never final when the father's in the room oh lay your burden Stirring up deep, deep wells, 
We're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna dance in the river. Dance in the river. Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells. We're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna jump in the river. Jump in the river. Deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to we cry out to we cry out to you Jesus sing from the top I've got a river and I've got a river of living water, a fountain that never will run dry. And it's an open heaven you're releasing, and we will never be denied. We're stirring up deep, deep wells. We're stirring up deep, deep wells.
even now I can see darkness is fading And walls of fear Brick by brick will come down Your light will shine Lifting me out of the shadows And here and now I know where my breakthrough is found And I'm gonna sing my way out of the valley I'm gonna shout my way up to the mountain I will take hold of the truth of your promise I'm gonna praise, I'm gonna praise I'm gonna push through till every light crumbles I'm gonna dance in the midst of the rain I'm gonna rest in the arms of the Father I'm gonna praise, I'm gonna praise your name There's a sound. And there's a sound welling up from within me. And heaven's power calling hope to arise. So I'm standing tall here in the strength of your victory. Jesus, cause when you come, every wrong is made right. And I'm gonna sing my way out of the valley. I'm gonna shout my way up to the mountain. I will take hold of the truth of your promise. I'm gonna praise, I'm gonna praise. I'm gonna push through till every light crumbles. I'm gonna dance in the midst of the rain. I'm gonna rest in the arms of the Father. I'm gonna praise, I'm gonna praise your name. No matter what, God, I'm gonna praise. In the crushing, 
in the pressing you are making new wine in the soul I now surrender you are breaking new ground sing that again in the crushing in the pressing you are making new wine in the soul life now surrender you are breaking new ground so i yield to you and to your careful when I trust you, I don't need to understand. So make me a vessel, make me an offering, make me whatever you want me to be. Cause I came here with nothing but all that you have given me. Jesus, bring you wine. In the crushing, in the pressing, you are making new wine. In the soul I now surrender, you are breaking new ground. You are breaking new ground. So make me your vessel, make me an offering, make me whatever you want me to be. Cause I came here with nothing, but all that you have given me, Jesus bring you wine out of me. Jesus bring you wine. There is new wine, there is new power, there is new freedom, the kingdom is here, I lay down my old things to carry your new fire today. Cause where there is new wine, there is new power. There is new freedom, the kingdom is here. I lay down my old flames to carry your new fire today. So make me your vessel, make me an offering, make me whatever. I came here with nothing but all that you have given me. Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Jesus, bring new wine out of me.
Hope that you enjoy that time of worship. Let's stay committed to growing in the Lord and praising Him in every season. Last week, we started a new series called Preparation for Growth, and many of us might be in a season where things are changing or transitioning. And today, Pastor Fiona has a word prepared for us about the peace of Christ. And so let's lean in and allow the Lord to speak to our hearts as we listen to the word. Let's pass it on to Pastor Fiona. Good morning, church. How are you? I hope you're having a great summer and you're taking advantage of the weather and you're not staying indoor, maybe going for a walk. Anyway, uh, I'm excited to continue the series that we have continued um, and that we jumped right into from Farmer of God, from Farmer of God, from the Armor of God uh, to the Fruit of the Spirit. And so today we're going to go right into uh, peace. So in Galatians 5.22, it says the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. And so today we're actually going to talk about peace. Um, and so if you got your Bibles, would you just bring it out and let's go right into it. And so I want you to go to Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. I'm going to be reading from the Amplify uh, classic version. And so whatever version you have, it's all good. Just follow along. And so here we go. It says, clothe yourself, therefore. Everybody say, clothe yourself. So, you know, do the motion of clothing yourself. Clothe yourself, therefore, as God's own chosen ones, which is us, his own pig representative, who are purified and holy and well-loved. Everybody say, I'm well-loved. By God himself, by putting on behavior that is marked by tender-hearted, mercy, kind feeling, a low opinion of yourselves, gentle ways, and patience which is tireless and long-suffering and has the power to endure whatever comes with good temper. Whew, I don't know about you, but just the opening scriptures already fires me up and already brings conviction. And if you're not feeling it, I pray in the name of Jesus that it would bring convictions to your heart and soul. But the opening scriptures, when we want to go right into the peace of Christ, we want to start off by saying that we are well-beloved. We are the well-beloved. You know, sometimes it's hard to hear the word of God when we don't know first and foremost that we are loved, when we don't know first and foremost that we are the child of God, when we first and foremost don't know that we are the chosen ones. And so I want to say that to this morning, our church, is that we would be acknowledging who we are in Christ as we go continue on in this uh, be being prepared for the season and that we're being clothed and maturing in our faith in this journey because my goodness it is hard to hear the word of God or to even receive corrections that bring transformations when we don't know who we are in our standing with Christ first. So come on, everybody. Let's say it one more time. I am a well-beloved. And so Galatians 3, 12, we just talked about is that when we need to be clothing ourselves, when we talk about peace, though, we at first need to clothe ourselves. We need to be tender hearted and full of mercy and kind feeling, having a low opinions of ourselves. Uh, I don't know about you. Some of you are getting convicted right now. Hallelujah. Uh, having gentle ways and patience, patience that is broke down for us, that is the tireless, long suffering, but has the power to endure whatever that comes our way with good temper. I don't know about you, but I can be very hot headed very quickly in a lot of ways in different areas. Okay, anybody else? Um, and so there is that blood in me. You know, some of my Italian friends always say, you know, it's that Italian blood in me. Uh, I don't know if I have Italian blood in me, but I can tell you, I can get hot. Uh, temper very very fast in certain different ways and so i want to challenge us that as we grow the fruits of the spirit um is that how is your peace doing because we're not just talking about resting we're not just talking about oh you know peace of god just come upon me no what happens when you are hot tempered what happens when we are prideful what happens when we are lacking mercy you know those three things are just to start with uh, is that do we have the peace of Christ that represents him um, and that purify and holy. 
uh, you know, a lot of times we judge one another and even that is sinful. Even that in the scriptures, it says anything uh, that is not done by faith, that is not pure in Christ is actually sinful. And so what are some of the things in our lives uh, that God is challenging us in continuing to grow our faith and maturing our faith, though, in growing these fruits of the spirit, which today we're talking about peace and so come on clothe yourself i am well beloved and therefore then i can have these things and these attributes and so if there are areas already right off the bat that you know and you know i don't know about you but i was absolutely convicted and uh you know if i had a really crazy week right away and so this brings even more greater convictions of some of the things that i know that i'm walking through in my every day of communicating with others and so what are some of the things in our lives that needs to take inventories that you have heard me say that for many 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 weeks now is taking inventories of ourselves because it's only when we look inward only when we look ourselves in the mirror then there it will cause growth okay and so let's continue on and so while we are doing uh the power to endure whatever comes with good uh temper oh my goodness uh talking about to endure and yet uh, you know, to to have good temper, to endure and have a good temper. Uh, I don't know about you, but sometimes in the midst of waiting, we can get frustrated and we can get angry. And uh, there's so many other things that, you know, the tensions that's pulling our way. And how do we remain having the peace of Christ in us and knowing that, you know what, by faith, I believe that God can do it. By faith, I know I've heard it. By faith, I'm going to continue to do what he just told me last to do. By faith, I'm going to remain faithful. By faith that I would not despise small beginnings, says in Proverbs. And so where are you at this morning in your journey? And especially where everything is begin beginning to reopen in Ontario. Those of you who are watching internationally, I, I bless you in whatever season that your government is in we want to bless the cities and the nations that are watching uh, but in ontario we actually just went to stage three which is reopening and i'm not really sure uh, how you're doing and in, in the places that you go in the things that you haven't gone for a long time or even in family and friends that we haven't seen and being able to hug one another i mean that's all a really big deal and and i have to say there are moments where i'm like i wasn't sure how i was really gonna do um in this reopening and hugging and all the all the stuff that actually makes up a community in our family and so i bless you to be in that place that while you're feeling these tensions uh that we continue to run towards god and just to remember to clothe ourselves um, because we know that we are his chosen one and that we will be tender-hearted. And, and that's a, sometimes a big word for some of us. What does it mean to be tender-hearted and have, uh, you know, to, to have pity and mercy? Because it's not like we want to pity one another uh, because we don't want that either. But to be, to be tender-hearted, to be merciful to one another. Some of us, we just need extra grace. And I cannot tell you, I think every one of us need extra grace just in a very different area in a very different reactions in very different scenarios and so if you think that you don't need the extra grace if you think if you're one of those i'm just gonna tough it out we all need the extra grace and you'll hear me say be kind to yourself in the seasons that god is transforming us like last week we talked about the caterpillar stage right where the caterpillar i mean all it does is like eat and sleep kind of in that sense and so uh are you in that season too where you just really need an incredible amount of rest because this this you know shelter in place have just kind of really took a toll on your mental health as well and so wherever you're at just remember this part that when we're growing the fruits of the spirits and today we're talking about the peace is is that do you have the peace of christ in whatever season that you're in right now so that it will grow the fruit of the spirit let's keep going proverbs 12 25 proverbs 12 25 says anxiety in the heart of a man caused depression but a good word makes is it, it glass somebody say hallelujah anxiety in the heart of man caused depression but a good word makes it glad i don't know about you but for me sometimes i just want to sit there and watch a really great sermon uh shout out to one church toronto i've been checking out these channels that they've been preaching on shout out to modesto california um that they are also you know 
preaching some really good word. And shout out to Bethel Church in Reading that I participate in some of these live worship that is live streaming. And so I, I just want to share that is, I mean, yes and amen to Proverbs 12, 25. For me, a lot of times when I'm feeling sad or feeling a little, um, you know, out of out of sync uh, for me is a good word. For me, is a good word. It's like a good sermon. Uh, 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 um, to be able to, to be, I mean, good thank God for live streaming right now is to be able to just hear the word of God that resonates in my spirit, to hear the word of God that encourages, picks up my soul, uh, that allows me to get closer to the Lord, to visit the very depth of my heart. Did you know that sometimes when we are anxious and when we are feeling despair and we get confused and a lot of times our feelings kind of boggle us down, even though it feels like our feelings are larger than life at that moment. But it's, But when we are anxious and when we are, um fretting and and things feel out of sync it's actually really hard uh to know what is happening the depth of our hearts and so i pray and encourage you church that just like it says in proverbs 12 25 about a good word makes it glad it doesn't just say a good word makes it right it makes it glad it makes it glad and one of my favorite scriptures i know i say that a lot i don't one of my favorite scriptures in my life versus the joy of the lord to be your strength and so a good word makes it glad the joy of the lord to be your strength and so what is it uh, that you need to allow yourselves and to bring yourselves and to maybe get someone to keep you accountable to say hey when was the last time you read the word when was the last time you heard a good word and also i want to say this in addition is this when was the last time you gave somebody a good word don't just wait for someone to give you a good word let let it be you who's going to offer a good word even when you're feeling down because here's the thing is sometimes even when we don't feel like eating we still eat anyway uh even when we don't feel like doing something we still need to get up and do it anyway right and so i want to encourage us in proverbs 12 25 anxiety and how to make causes depression um and so i i know i say this in almost every single video as if you are having and struggling with mental health we pray uh that the 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 the, the that the peace of God will rule and reign in your heart and that you will have your breakthrough. But at the same time, we definitely want to encourage you to also get some professional help. Now, here's the thing about the word is that the anxiety and heart of men that causes the depression. So some, some of us, actually every one of us need to examine our hearts. Is sometimes we feel anxious. Sometimes we feel sad. Sometimes it just overwhelms us and it becomes also the depression. And there's definitely a spirit that goes behind that as well. Because when we are operating in the spirit, of fear and 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 um discouragement it will lead us to depression now i'm not saying that that fear is not real i'm not saying dep uh, depression is not real i'm not saying discouragement is not, no i'm saying this so hear me out but what i'm saying is is that what are some remnants what are some of those tools what are some of those medicine uh, that god has given us as well in a spiritual context is a good word makes it glad and so when was the last time i'm going to repeat myself that you heard a good word whether it was a sermon whether it was uh, a podcast whether it is an encouragement from someone uh, but I want to challenge us as our church to be sons and daughters of the king is when was the last time we gave a good word uh, to someone. Don't just wait till someone needs an encouragement. You know, you're going to give a good word anywhere you go. You can go to a Starbucks and give a good word to the worker who's working, who's serving you. You can give a good word at a restaurant. Some of us are able to dine in nowadays uh, to give a good word. And you know what, church? I want to say this, especially now still in the middle of a pan pandemic and even though things are reopening people need good words don't wait till someone needs one don't wait till you get a good word be the first one to offer a good word and let it be godly let it be encouraging let it be uplifting you know leave your opinions down you know the opening verse i should talk about having a low opinion of yourself i'm not saying who cares about you but what i'm saying is sometimes most of the time is that when we're actually feeling down and yet we go and serve another it does something to our heart and soul that's actually a spiritual deposit it's, it's not a uh what we do in a physical planet earth rules and or, or suggestions or opinions no it is actually a spiritual concept a spiritual growth inside of us somehow it becomes a deposit and it changes a physical atmosphere and so i want but i want to say 
the other part also is some of us who are more of a doer and you want to go out and serve people all the time and you kind of forget about yourselves i want to encourage you that you will kind of um you know, will you just allow God to hold you still and to be still know that he is God and that he will replenish you? Let other people say good words about you. If anything, look in the mirror and say good words for yourself because chances are if you are a doer, sometimes you neglect yourselves and you forget to say good words to yourself as well. And so the last part about saying good things, uh, a, a good word also is that to yourselves is how many of us actually know and and has practiced a good habit uh, of saying good things about yourself. You know, yes, we messed up all the time. I do too. But how fast are we running to Christ, but at the same time being able to say, you know what? Yeah, okay, let's pick up and go. Um, let's be kind to ourselves. So let me just say this again anxiety in the heart of man causes depression but a good work makes it glad may you be the one to speak good works and not cause anxiety onto others because that's how quickly things escalate and so be mindful we're not going to be perfect but be mindful in how we interact with our family and friends and sometimes it is easier to hurt one another when you're a family because we're just so close and so i pray that you will learn to communicate uh to one another in the way that our relationship in maturing our faith with God and also with each other. And so in in that, but a good word makes it glad is that then the peace of Christ uh, will rule and reign. You know what? I pray that you would experience that supernatural moment that in the most fearful and anxious moment that you feel that peace of Christ right away. That you would know how to say a good word right away. You know, I, we pray for Barry in the name of Jesus, for everyone who's lost their homes from that tornado that touched down a couple of days ago, that we speak a good word in the name of Jesus, that for everyone who's dealing with insurance, that they will have the favor of the Lord. For everyone who's hurt, we speak healing in the name of Jesus and for the trauma to be healed as well, that the community will come together to, to be able to bring help to each other as well. We bless the churches in Barry as well, that they will arise to the occasions to be the the light that he says in the scripture so that there be a city on here that cannot be hidden to be with the community that is there that is hurting right now see a good word that we will bless sometimes a good word can come out in prayer sometimes a good word can just speak it uh into the barista that's serving you let's keep going romans 14 14 1 the passion translation it says offer an open hand of fellowship to welcome every true believer even though their faith may be weak and immature and refuse to engage in debates with them concerning nothing more than opinions can i just say the first thing that will ruin the peace of christ especially among believers is if you begin to debate with one another because of your opinions uh, last that I checked, god isn't about our opinions he's about our obedience and so church what other areas that you find yourself in that you continue to uh to continue to almost be in a quarrel in a discord uh with a believer about your opinions because it's about obedience and can i just say sometimes perhaps you could be correct but maybe it's not the time for it perhaps you just need to keep your mouth shut and love on that brother and sister for that moment maybe it is not the season because you're not able to see eye for an eye and you know what that's actually scriptural is there are times where we need to be quick to listen and slow to speak even when you have the right answer and so i pray for wisdom and discernment to you but even more so that we will not cause each other to stumble that we will encourage one another uh, to mature in the peace of christ you know a lot of times uh, actually in most of the time uh, that people grow when there is a safe environment to grow it's like plants they don't grow well when it's not uh peaceful uh, they don't grow well when people are stomping all over it so may you be reminded that has sons and daughters that fruits of the spirit to grow is how do we not cause each other to stumble because sometimes we ravel someone's peace um and so see it's different when we bring corrections and that gentleness but but we can be so quickly to unravel somebody's peace especially a believer and then our opinions becomes even more it becomes louder actually uh than being able to teach and walk with someone to be in obedience to christ and in the peace it is hard to be in obedience to answer in obedience when there's so much noise going on that is supposed to be for each other so i pray that we will be there and walk with each other 
uh, to be mindful uh, as well so that we would be able to live out these things that it would not be about our opinions, but it would be our obedience uh, to Christ, to the hearing of the Holy Spirit, to the leading of the Holy Spirit, to yielding uh, to the Holy Spirit. I can't help but to tell you how many times uh, that the Holy Spirit would say, and now be quiet. Um, and can I tell you, those of you who know me, sometimes it's really hard. Uh, it's really hard because I can be very opinionated. I can be very loud uh, in how I say things. I can be uh, loud in how I want things as well. But as a pastor and as a leader, as a daughter, um, as a spiritual uh, mother, as a mother, in whatever capacity that you have in influencing others, is it is important that we are in obedience and not opinions, even in the way that we would function uh, to others and also as well as ourselves with our relationship with God. Zechariah 7, 9. Zechariah 7, 9. This is what the Lord Almighty said. Administer true justice, show mercy, and be compassion to one another. Be compassion to one another. I can't stress enough today uh, for, you know, as we continue this series, but particularly about the growing the peace of Christ inside of us, that fruit, the spirit, that how much this actually affects it as well about true justice you know everybody in the mom is talking about justice nowadays but you gotta be remember be reminded is what is biblical justice in the word of god what is showing mercy and compassion uh to one another perhaps how you show compassion and mercy to one another might be different than another household but may we not judge one another and how we show mercy and compassion to one another because in god's eyes it is is the depth of our heart. It's actually he looks inside of our hearts. And so how would you show mercy and compassion and minister true uh, justice? So I'm not asking you to raise your sword and go fight. No, you put on that full armor of God and you grow that fruits of the spirit in you. And one of them is so important that I find, which is why I'm not following through the list here, but that one of the fruit of the spirit is to is the peace, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, uh, and self control. And so, what are some of these areas that we're lacking? Perhaps there's somebody that in your life that you're lacking mercy, you're lacking compassion, and God has placed that person or that group of people in your life uh, to practice that. You know. There is no mistake and God doesn't make mistake in who he plays in our lives and events and all that stuff. And and yes, there might be things that have happened to us, but yet it is our job. It is our responsibility to respond to God and how he can bring healing into ourselves. Perhaps you were one of those, you're one of those that I'm talking about, that people are lacking mercy and compassion to you. And I pray God to pour out his love and his kindness onto you, that you will heal uh, from those so that you will be able to in return to show mercy and compassion to others not out of your own reaction and hurt reaction or oh, someone didn't do it to me so therefore i have to do it no 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 and, and although that is great in part of your heart but that it is part of our healing journey that we're able to do that and last but not least proverbs 15 1 proverbs 15 1 and i'm reading from the tr from the passion translation it says respond gently oh i mean that of itself sure bring conviction to a lot of us doesn't it especially those of us who are tired personalities and moms and dads you, you just kind of had enough with everybody being home respond gently when you are confronted and you diffuse the rage of another come on somebody responding with sharp cutting words will only make it worse don't you know that being angry can ruin the testimony of even the wisest of men? A man that brings convictions into my heart for sure. Even the wisest of men that well, your anger can actually ruin the testimony that you're trying to live out. And so I pray in the name of Jesus that we will respond gently uh, while we're being confronted and to diffuse the range of another. Now, I'm not talking about, I don't think the Bible is talking about letting people walk all over us. And I'm not, that's not what we're talking about today. But that peace of rise will rule and reign over our lives to grow that fruit of the spirit so that we will be able to respond with gentleness we were able to be upright and courageous and holy to show that compassion that we would diffuse rage of another because responding with sharp cutting words will only make it worse and those of us who are a little gangster like myself and we just be like what you say you know like 
come on, that's just being real. Because I know some of you, you, mm, I just know, right? And so what are some of those areas uh, in our lives that the Lord goes, wait, hold, hold, hold on a second. Like, let me come through you so that you be able to speak. You can still speak the truth. You can still correct with love. Uh, you can still respond. But how will we responding? Because it says here to respond gently and not rage. And I don't know about you, but that speaks into my heart because in some of the areas, for sure, depending on certain group of people, that somehow we push each other buttons. And so can I just bless you and encourage you today that as we continue to be prepared for the season, as we continue to mature in our faith, that the fruit of the Spirit will grow and it will be wonderful and it will be pleasing unto the Lord. And so today, as we wrapped up um, the one fruit, the peace of Christ, the, the fruit of the Spirit, and one of them is peace, is that would you allow the peace of Christ to ruin and reign in our hearts uh, and that we are able to say no to the spirit of anger in Jesus' name and that we're able to say peace, peace of God, come and ruin and reign over my heart so that I am able to respond with the full conviction of the Holy Spirit, yet with gentleness and not with anger and not with my own opinions but that in obedience to Christ and yielding to the Holy Spirit and being led by the Holy Spirit as well. I bless you, church. I love you so much. I look forward to hugging you in person. Stay tuned for when we are when we are able to gather in person. Uh, but for now, our church is going to continue to meet virtually. And so we bless you during this time. Uh, and again, I love you so much. And I'm really looking forward that we can hug one another. I'll see you next week. Thanks, Pastor Fiona. That's a great word and really helpful. I know that I can be impatient or short at times, and so I just pray that all of us can grow in those areas, and it starts with that peace that comes from the Lord. If you'd like any prayer about this or anything else, remember that you can always message us on Instagram or by email. We'd love to hear from you. But that's it for this week. Hope that you can join in with us next week as we continue in our series. Remember that you are loved and you belong. Take care.